My name is Katai Yao. I'm a project leader at the Information Sciences Institute. Also, I teach at USC Viterbi, Department of Chemical Engineering and Material Science. My research involves in developing algorithms and data structures to help people understand large-scale complex systems and potentially to help them control them. Each uh, complex system is uh, different. They offer a unique set of challenges. So we have developed a suite of tools to deal with them, data mining tools, data management tools, and visualization tools. For example, on the physical systems, this is the work that's sponsored by Seasoft and Chevron. They're uh, interested in understanding underground oil well geometries. But unfortunately, this underground geometry is not directly observable. So we have to use indirect means. This ends up to be very high dimensional data to look at. And usually the data is of poor quality because it's very noisy because this is a physical environment. And we developed a, uh, a novel data mining tool that look at the different trends in the data and give them alerts of potential problems that may occur. So for the megacities, we do very large scale distributed simulations involving uh, hundreds, sometimes even thousands of nodes. When we first got involved with this project, they were using a centralized logger and they cannot even log all the information that's being generated by the simulation. Once we made the logging scalable, we want to make the analysis scalable as well. So we implemented a distributed analysis framework. Emergency response is a potential application for megacities. So we can introduce a simulated disaster and see how the population in the city respond to the simulated disaster. And this will help the city planners look at the infrastructure they need to alleviate the disaster. So in uh, legacy software systems, analysts typically are the given large source code, legacy source code they're supposed to analyze and found, find vulnerabilities. This is actually a very difficult task. Sometimes they call this code spelunking because they want to explore this code that we haven't even seen before. So we develop tools to help them navigate this code terrain. So making uh, software more secure uh, has many potential applications. So one area we looked at is the power grid. We have heard a lot of hackers trying to break into the grid. So with some of the tools, potentially we can identify attack surfaces to prevent them from entering the system. Also potentially we can look at the software patterns and figure out what the software is supposed to do and provide constraints so that the malicious hackers cannot alter the system. Large scale complex Systems actually occur everywhere. If we can really understand these systems, potentially we can make them more efficient. And if we can improve the safety of these systems, the world will be better off.